Uh, okay, to, so today I have been invited to the, uh, by the EPOS Multiscale Laboratory uh, group to give a talk on the MAGIC data repository. Um, uh, I'm going to talk about the features, how we've been working uh, towards uh, FAIR standards and our EPOS MSL collaboration. Um, MAGIC is a, a large effort uh, <clears throat> and my colleagues and I, Rupert Manette, Kathy Constable, Anthony Coppers, Lisa Tokes, and Nixon Swanson Heisel uh, have been working on this for quite a while. The webpage is at earthref.org slash magic. So here's a outline of the talk. First, I'm going to give a little bit uh, an overview of the magic website. Next, a uh, description of the magic data model. Uh, then a few highlights of the fair features of the repository. And uh, then um, a bit on the current status of the EPOS multi-scale laboratory collaboration with MAGIC. So uh, MAGIC is a rock and paleomagnetic data repository and database. Here's our home page. Uh, we're part of EarthRef. Um, sort of the three main features of MAGIC are the search interface, uh, the upload tool where people can upload their data, uh, and then uh, the private workspace uh, where you can store your data. And uh, it's a place where the data is available before publication for reviewers, editors, and your collaborators uh, to look at the data. You can share that uh, with uh, uh, security. A few other things that we have are uh, resource links. So we have a link to uh, an online interactive data model, method codes that describe your data, vocabulary lists uh, to, uh, that are controlled for uh, metadata searching, uh, links to our YouTube channel and help. Uh, then we have a list of uh, recent contributions uh, and uh, some informational uh, projects that Mag MAGIC has been, been doing. Uh, we have over 4,200 data sets in MAGIC with over uh, 16,000 individual sites. So um, this is the uh, search interface and the way the search works on MAGIC is a filtering system. So when you uh, go into the uh, search interface, uh, everything is displayed uh, in the database and as you add filters, uh, the search is narrowed down. So for this search here, uh, I've put in a, a text search for Hawaii and a publication year from 1990 to 2020, uh, an age range from zero to a thousand Ka, and then uh, a weak pale intensity from zero to, to 15. And with that search, uh, we end up with just eight contributions. Um, and uh, they're displayed here. They can be individually clicked on uh, to see uh, each, indi each individual <coughs> uh, summary of the contribution. And you can also look at uh, the tables themselves by clicking up here. When you want to download your results, you can download via either an API or the website. If you're interested in the API, you can go to this uh, link here and we have instructions on how to work with the MAGIC API. And there is also a manual download. So for the manual download uh, and the API, you can either download all the contributions that m met the search criteria or you can download just certain tables uh, that met the search criteria. So if you're only, if you're interested in all of the sites, uh, but not all the measurement information, you can download just all of the sites that met that criteria. And then you can uh, get that in either the magic text file format or the Excel spreadsheet. So 
So on Magic, uh, like any good database, um, all of the data changes are versioned. So uh, this is important for uh, having the original data available. So when you release a, a data set uh, with a, a journal paper, there'll be the original citation of the data. Uh, but if there's any changes or minor edits that need to be done, uh, then the version is updated. The original is preserved, but the new one is also available. If you link to any of the data sets, data DOIs from, for this data set, you get to this home page, which shows the most recent version, but also you can uh, go back and get any of the uh, older versions that you like. Here's a picture of the private workspace uh, for data. So here I've uploaded a, a test data uh, test data set. Um, once once the data has been put into this uh, private workspace, uh, all that's required is that you have the correct headers on the data columns. Um, so this can be used as a, as a workspace if you like. Uh, you could upload and download via the API. Um, and once your data is ready. Uh, you can share the data, so you can get a share link here. Uh, you can put the DOI from the paper here to get all the bibliographical information. Um, you can add a, a laboratory name here where the study was done. Uh, and this links up with uh, the EPOS labs. And then you can validate the data to make sure that all of the important information, all the metadata, is correct um, and meets the requirements uh, of the MAGIC data repository. All the hierarchical organization has the correct references and so on and so forth. Um, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the data model in MAGIC. MAGIC uh, consists of six hierarchical tables and then three other tables. So if you start at the measurement level where say you're um, doing you generally during measurements on a magnetometer and uh, you might do uh, multiple measurements that are averaged together and then you get a, uh, an average for a specimen. Uh, some studies have multiple specimens for samples so these specimens could be averaged together for a sample average. Uh, then at the site level, you might average all the samples or all the specimens to get an average for the values at the site level. Uh, in MAGIC, a site has a specific meaning. Uh, it's uh, a, a unit that has a common age and magnetization. So it's a, it's a, it's a lava flow or a, a horizon on an outcrop or in a core, it's every single uh, basically every sample going down the core because it's a different age with uh, different properties. And then with a the location, that's just a, a way of uh, allowing people to group their sites in a, in a very free form way. You can do it by outcrop or region. If you had a study of a, a few volcanic islands in Hawaii, you could have one for, for Maui and Hawaii and so on. And then there's the contribution level, which is uh, metadata about uh, the contribution itself into the MAGIC database. So the uh, MAGIC database ID, supplementary material, who contributed it, and that sort of thing. Then we have a couple of tables uh, where you can put more information about the paleo intensity criteria, selection, uh, age, age information, and any images you might want to associate with, with the contribution. So our online uh, data model is uh, quite interactive. Uh, here, you can click on any of these arrows here and you get a, a display of all of the column names uh, with uh, descriptions and uh, highlights of keywords of how these are controlled. So you have uh, a vocabulary that's controlled. This means required that the column is required for uploading to MAGIC. And then if you drill down even further, you get information on the column itself. Here required, it's controlled vocabulary. You can click right here and you get on the, the list of, of what are the values that are 
allowed for this column. Next, I like to talk about the uh, FAIR data standards that have been uh, developed over the last few years. Sherry Stahl at AGU had a large uh, grant to fund the FAIR initiative, uh, pushing for uh, data and data repositories to be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Uh, some of these are overlapping and sort of an ongoing idea, but the, the main thing is is that uh, data in the future should be uh, available in standard forms so that the science behind them can be reproduced uh, and uh, looked at by everybody. Magica has been working to help shape what these standards might be and also uh, are, continues to evolve and add features to our, our database uh, data repository so that we can meet these fair standards. So now I'm going to talk about a few of the thing, a few of the features we have uh, to meet these fair standards. So one thing that we have implemented in magic is uh, schema.org headers on every contribution. So this is sort of fi a findable and interoperable uh, feature. Here is a, a snippet of code uh, that, that uh, we would we have at the in the header of our data sets. So um, we have uh, schema.org is a standard by led by Google to uh, let search engines uh, search easily uh, websites. Uh, so it's not very well, uh, it's more for hotels and airplane tickets and uh, commercial websites. So it hasn't been well developed for the earth sciences. So uh, we've been trying to develop some standards for that. Uh, we use the, uh, the main ones that are already available. So we've added this, we've been working with earth cube and their uh, geocodes project to develop some more uh, standards uh, like geologic time um, that are needed to be able to describe our database fully that are not yet in schema.org. Uh, we also are part of the ESIP cluster, which is a, a, a group, uh, Earth Science Information Partners, uh, financially backed by NASA, NOAA, and the USGS. Uh, that is trying to develop uh, these uh, ge geology and geophysics, uh, earth science extensions to, to schema.org. Another part uh, in this is the accessible reusable uh, of uh, using data APIs for the website. So um, we can get uh, full version uh, downloads uh, of uh, the data sets, which uh, allows people to automatically grab the new ones and so on and so forth. Interoperable, uh, Magic now uses the uh, ORCID ID for authentication and identification. So if you, uh, we now require an ORCID, uh, most uh, researchers, have ORCIDs now, and I believe journals are requiring first first authors to have ORCID IDs. Uh, so to log into MAGIC, you can just put in your ORCID ID and your ORCID password. Um, and, and if you don't have an account, uh, you can create one. And, uh, I'll, and uh, this will allow uh, interoperability and uh, links back to the ORCID information for all of the, the users of MAGIC. Reusable. So one thing that's really nice uh, uh, about MAGIC is that we've been working with uh, Lisa Tokes's group and Nick Swanson Heisel's group uh, and ourselves to produce uh, uh, this, uh, this long standing paleomagnetic analysis software suite. Uh, PMagPy, and uh, so 
measurement level data from a wide variety of magnetometers and uh, can be imported into uh, this PMAGPI uh, analysis software. It can be looked at, interpreted, and then exported for uh, demagnetization studies and for uh, paleo intensity studies. Um, and then these files can be easily uploaded. Uh, and files that are in the uh, MAGIC database that have all these measurements can be downloaded and visualized using uh, this PMAGPI software. Uh, we hope other paleomagnetic software in the future uh, will also be uh, compatible with MAGIC file format. Uh, we've been working with paleointensity.org and paleomagnetism.org and other groups to have uh, export and import features uh, of the MAGIC file format. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about the EPOS collaboration. So we've been working with the EPOS multi-scale laboratory group. Uh, many thanks to all the people that we've interacted with over the years and uh, have worked closely with recently to get uh, the, the data from from magic moving uh, from over data site to their their test or staging area now and the way we do that is using a data site uh, XML header. So we uh, send data to data site like we normally would uh, for a data DOI. Um, and we add all the uh, information that's needed for EPOS. And then we also add some extra uh, keywords here that uh, uh, data site doesn't yet support and we will um, continue to uh, refine these and uh, make sure that everything is available that is needed. So in the staging area, we've recently just got uh, this Hawaiian uh, lava flow study from MAGIC showing up in the EPOS staging area. Uh, this is great. We're really happy about that. Uh, now we can start to go back and forth and work out all the little details. Um, here's that same study showing up in their uh, data set uh, description. And uh, we're very happy about uh, how this is working out so far. And um, so that's it for the presentation. Thank you very much. And I'm going to turn off the recording here now. <laughs>